All right, baseball fans, welcome back to the 69, 70, 71, 72 carryover league. We are in the 1970 box. We've looked at a couple divisions in the American League, the American League East and the American League North. Today's investigation will be the American League Midwest, uh, made up of two teams that are ascending and two teams that are trying to get things figured out and not doing this well. Uh, Chicago is struggling. Kansas City is a very hot expansion team. They're really doing well. Milwaukee is in trouble. They need to make trades. And the Twins are on the verge of putting a World Series team together. Or, or they're running out of time and they need to do it as soon as possible. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the White Sox. And when we look at the White Sox, the first thing we're going to do is look at the... Look at guys that were already on the roster. The 71 Bradley, 69 Aparicio, Humphreys, Tommy John, Carlos May, and Wilbur Wood. They lost Harold Baines, Bradley, uh, Garbet Orta, Percante, Walker, and two starting pitchers. We did like them adding Paul Edmondson um, in 69 as an option. Um, and they have another uh, they have a couple good pitchers in 69 they could uh, add, and they might be able to look for hitting here if possible. Because I didn't s seem to remember them li liking any of the White Sox hitters back then. Here's Joel Horland, though, a pitcher. And this Horland is, see, uh, he's worse than any of the pitchers from 69 that we looked at. Next up is Walt Williams. And we saw his card in 69, and it was actually a little better. He could, he was a better fielder, and he hit for better average. So I don't see Walt Williams getting into the league anytime soon. Bobby Knoop was actually a free agent in 69, known for his defense. Same thing here. He's, he's defense. You don't want him starting or playing in something more than a platoon. 409 at bats hitting 229. That's not going to pay your way to the World Series. Uh, Dan Murphy. They don't need relievers. That's the one thing they have. The other thing they have, too, is Wilbur Wood is in the bullpen, and they might want to think of improving Wilbur Wood's card, put him in the rotation, and, and find a left-handed reliever to replace Wood. So that could be something to look for as we continue through the White Sox here. Jerry Janski, that's not very good. Barry Moore, he was a free agent in 69. He's still not very good here. John Mattias, no thank you. Yeah, well, there you go. This is why the White Sox are in trouble. They just don't have a lot of talent. But they do have this guy, Wilbur Wood, but again, he's still a reliever in 1970. So 71 or 72 Wood will be... A starting pitcher you could put him in the rotation and um, find a lefty reliever you could go with Walt Williams and then you could go with uh, those two pitchers Edmondson and uh, Billy Wynn from 69 so now we're going to move to Kansas City uh, where hope is very good they've had two really good seasons with an expansion team um, you know Obviously, George Brett is gone, and he will not uh, begin his career until, uh, you know, 74, I believe. But they have a really good third baseman, Paul Shaw, waiting in the wings. They're going to have Cookie Rojas in one of these years playing second base. They have John Mayberry to play first base. This team is already putting together a very good nucleus, um, and they are going to exceed expectations and may actually get into the playoffs um, sooner than the mid 70s when they when their heyday was so This is what we have uh, Rich Severson a middle a middle infielder uh, I could play short and second switch hitter actually. It's okay 250 and 240 at bats um, Yeah, he's just okay Here is Paul Shaw. This could be the year we take his card uh, third base, second, his defense isn't that good, um, but he's a pretty good hitter, like 280, 
268. It might be 71 or 72 shawl that we're, that we're looking for. So this, this is an option. Alfitz Morris, I believe he, okay, he's a free agent. I guess he's, I'm thinking of him in the Carrier League. Um, not particularly good though. Um, they got to replace Lee Brandt, DePeno, and Quisenberry. Uh, a lefty starter and two relievers. And of course, they got to replace Brett with Shaw. And uh, Rojas with Frank, Frank White and Rojas. Uh, the first base will be Mayberry. So they do need a shortstop, and they need a lefty reliever. Now, Butler is a lefty starter, unfortunately. They could take him and keep Jim Rooker in the bullpen, which is what they did last year, even though Bill, even though Jim Rooker is better suited to be a starting pitcher. But if they can't find a reliever, then just move Bill Butler into the, into the rotation. Rojas, this is not his 300 year, it's a 260 year. So, you know, these are the uh, Patek, Bunker, Drabowski, Kelly, Kirkpatrick, Pinella, and Rooker. These are all in the current uh, Kansas City team. So, next up, we're going to uh, contemplate the struggles of the Milwaukee Brewers. Um, what do you do with Marty Patton? Wow, that's a great card. Um, you actually are going to lose Don Sutton, and uh, when all those starting pitchers get moved, like Ryan Singer, Messersmith, Hooten, and so forth, Milwaukee is not slated to get a starting pitcher, so Marty Patton might be the pitcher that they just draft to take that spot. And that's a very good card. Um, let me just go check the guys who are currently on Milwaukee. Yeah, Gellner, McNertney, Braybender, Comer, Hegan, Mincher, and of course this is 70 Sutton, who's no longer their property, or will, or will no longer be their property. They still have to make the deal. So I see Marty Patton, uh, being an excellent pick for an ex for this uh, expansion team. Um, Dave May, mm, not quite good yet. He'll get better, I think, in 71 or 2. Uh, Danny Walton. Now, here, here's some potential. 257 with 17 bombs and 400 at-bats. Yeah, for, a, for an expansion team, if, if they added Marty Patton and Danny Walton, that would be that would really help them. Um, Bob Berta, I don't think is actually available. I think he was actually drafted by St. Louis, so I got to double check that. But that's great news. Great news meaning that hey, you can at least identify Patton and Walton and add them to your team, and feel like you know you're doing the best you can. Um, and now let's get to the Twins. The Twins, interestingly, have to replace um, a bunch of great guys from 1984, like uh, Urbic and Puckett, Frank Viola. Um, but they got a great nucleus. They want to trade for Burt Bly Levin. And these are the guys they currently have on the roster. Cott, Killebrew, Oliva, Pernowski, Reese, Tover, and Mitterwald. Unfortunately for the Twins, the only guy in the 70 box we see here is Phil Ratliff. But that's actually a pretty cool card, isn't it? Um, I like it. That's a 268 card, but a left-handed hitting catcher with power um, to replace the Chris Bando. Because you have Mitterwald. You have Mitterwald, who normally hits lefties better and can throw. So Ratliff can be um, the platoon of catcher. So at least you have... Sometimes it's, it's about fit. You're not going to find a Hall of Famer in the draft, but you you get a guy who fits well. And that's, that's a good fit for Minnesota. Plus, I believe 1970 is the first good year for Burp Lilo. And so that could be, it could be that those are the two twin players um, taken in the 1970 box. So that concludes the discussion for the American League Midwest. We'll see you next time.